and to a real issue facing so many parents and their children as they prepare to head off to college. With so much money on the line, many turn to the schools that show the best numbers, the best chances at a new job when you graduate. But can you believe what some of those for-profit colleges tell you? ABC's Mark Greenblatt on the case tonight. In my opinion, it's a, a wretched fraud. Jason Sobeck's talking about one of the largest for-profit college corporations in the country, EDMC, the Education Management Corporation, which runs more than 100 colleges, offering everything from a master's of design to degrees in nursing. You could make it happen with Brown Mackey College. This former admissions supervisor turned whistleblower is suing, alleging the company deceives prospective students in marketing materials by falsely inflating I success the statistics. They the manipulated the job placement rates by counting students working in a, a job that they did not need the degree for. You think this is all intentional? It is intentional, it's the business model. Case in point, single mother Sarah Fisher right. in Indiana. I feel like I've been lied to and I am angry about it. Fisher says she got sucked in by a recruiter for Brown Mackey. They told me I'd be able to get a better job, that I'd be making $35,000 to $40,000 a year. But Sobeck gave ABC News an exclusive look at internal company documents, which show EDMC still counting Fisher's $16,000 a year job as a success. I work at Walmart in customer service. She got the job long before graduation, but the school claims it's related to her degree. They're lying. I placed myself on oh. that job, not Brown Mackey College. And here's more. Sobeck says the company claims job success for this fashion marketing grad, this accounting major, and this business grad. But he says EDMC's own documents show this one is actually working for minimum wage selling shoes. One works at McDonald's, the other a janitor. EDMC declined an interview with ABC News, but wrote us to say, we believe the claims raised by Jason Sobeck are wholly without merit, saying he was not employed in career services and that the company has a high code of ethics. We asked Senator Dick Durbin to review Sobeck's documents. It's just plain fraud, and your whistleblower has brought it to light. And these students sucked in by these ads, sign up for debt, sign up for these courses that lead to nowhere. Sarah Fisher just feels duped. About $24,000 in the hole for a degree I can't use. Sobeck's claims also got a boost from a federal judge who reviewed the evidence of job placement fraud. David, that judge said the case should be allowed to move forward in federal court. But you've got Washington asking questions too. Mark, thanks very much.